It is a pledge of trust, stated or unstated, that binds two people together. With sidekicks and heroes, even more so than in marriage, it's for better or for worse. It's till death do us part. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Better get ready. No, we'll jump. All right? I'll jump first. No. Nope. Then you jump first. No, I said. What's the matter with you? I can't swim! <laughs> Why are you crazy? The fall will probably kill you. In Temple of Doom, death constantly threatens to part sidekick and hero. Short round and indie face extinction once each reel, much like in vintage Saturday afternoon serials. Hero and sidekick endure all kinds of perilous journeys, and each harrowing trip serves to bring them closer together. Like the characters they play in the film, the actors, Harrison and Key, survive all kinds of indignities. What they endure on the set creates a bond between them off the screen. Key, a straight-A student in school who once wanted to be a doctor, regards Harrison as a mentor. Like Harrison, he puts everything he has into each scene. It's, it's, it's hard work to make a movie like this because the actor is called upon to be physical every day. You have to be very physical. And he has so much energy that if the movie seems to be going fast like a freight train, a lot of it is because Key moves very quickly and we had to keep up with him to make the movie. Key gives short round character and size. He doesn't ride a white horse, but he's just as serious as sidekicks of yesterday. He's there to be his hero's bodyguard. He'll go anywhere and do anything out of loyalty to the man who will do the same for him. We're not going to Delhi, doll. We're going to Pancot Palace. Oh, Pancot! Even the intrusion of Willie as romantic interest won't alter Short Round's normal relationship with Indy. The biggest trouble with her is the noise. It was Key's audition in this scene that won him the part of Short Round. Hey! You cheat, Dr. Jones! You cheat! Use it for car! You say now! No mistake! No mistake! I'm very little. You cheat very big! Dr. Jones! You cheat! You pay money! You owe me 10 cents! Look at this! Look at this! You accuse me of cheating? Me? You me? cheated! I'm no matter who or what comes between them, they know that first and foremost, they can rely on one another. Willie, Willie. What is that? Is that short for something? Willie is my professional name, Indiana. Hey, lady, you call him Dr. Jones. My professional name. Hero and sidekick. As they edge closer to adventure, they seem more and more oddly paired. Stay behind me, short round. Step where I step, and don't touch anything. I step where you step. I touch nothing. A pint-sized pickpocket up the streets of Shanghai, and an erudite, bespectacled professor from America. At first glance, a mismatch. Yet look at other sidekicks and heroes. 
An Indian and a masked man on a white horse. A vulcanite with strange ears and an earthling, odd couples indeed. Yet their very pairing off not only seems inevitable, but necessary. The sloppy and the neat, the straight man and the comedian, even the two-legged and the four-legged. They complete each other. That doesn't mean that they concede anything to one another. In fact, they can quarrel and bicker like, like, well, friends. take a tranquilizer. Go to your room. The more partners like one another, the more they can say what they think and feel, like Oscar and Felix in the film The Odd Couple. Now kindly remove that spaghetti from my poker tape. <laughs> the hell is so funny. <laughs> it's not spaghetti, it's linguine. <laughs> and heroes and sidekicks find other ways to express themselves, like this prisoner and policeman who teamed up to solve a crime in the film 48 Hours. All right, you two. What's going on here? Nothing. It's all right. I'm a cop. Get the car! Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte work side by side, although they, like most sidekicks and heroes, were clearly from two on? different worlds. I'll file a report tomorrow. Yeah, well, I gotta file a report tonight. Yeah, goes with the territory. Commitment and affection are sometimes shown in odd ways. <laughs> Consider Dom de Luise's help for his partner who was trying to commit suicide in the end. No! Shall I let you go? No! I, oh, I, wait a minute. Yeah, hurry my neck. I, why? It isn't high enough. Good for me. Pull me back. I don't think so. Give it. Pull me back. Okay. Uh, okay. Why did you pull me back? Why did you pull me back? I don't have enough courage. I don't have enough guts. That's why you're here. I can't do it by myself. I'd be dead now. If you had to pull me back, I'd be dead now and it'd be over. I'm a failure. You said it. Shut up. All right, wait a minute. I got an idea. You get over there. I get over there. You get running like a ball. I'll have my back to you. Push you. You push me, I'll go. Oh, good idea. Okay, thanks so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure knowing you. Okay. Okay. You're my best friend. Sorry. Yeah. I'm ready. Anytime you are, Sonny, I'm ready. Wait a minute. I'm not ready. Lesson father is a Will man. you come on? Okay. I'm sick of the <laughs> You're right, Sonny. It's not high enough. There is no odder couple, perhaps, than Han Solo and his hairy co-pilot. Solo, the space mercenary in Star Wars, depended on a sidekick who spoke a different language. But don't look like you're trying to keep your distance. I don't know. Fly casual. Heroes in the movies have historically relied on other species. <laughs> 